Okay, so welcome. What I have is 1 divided by tangent of beta plus tangent of beta equals secant squared of beta divided by tangent of beta. And I love these problems because when we look into solving our trigonometric functions by kind of using our um, using this, we can kind of see, well, they both kind of look confusing, right? And a lot of times, um, what I've said is, you know, always get rid of, always try to simplify to get rid of our rational expressions. But on this one, I'm actually going to attack this a little bit differently. And looking at this problem, here I have two separate terms, and here I only have one. So if I'm given an operation, right, apply operations, I'm looking at this, I can apply these operations. It's telling me to add. So here I have two operations. Here I only, or I'm sorry, here I have two terms. Well, here I have one term. So let's combine our two terms to one term. Then let's go back and simplify this together. All right. So when you have an operation like this, let's apply that operation first, and then let's see which side we really want to simplify. So what I have here is I have 1 over tangent of beta plus tangent of beta, and that's really over 1. So remember, when we're going to be kind of adding fractions, unlike denominators, we have to get them to be the same denominator. So we look at our um, most common multiple of tangent of beta and 1, and the most common multiple is going to be tangent of beta. Therefore, I'm going to have to multiply tangent of beta on the top and the bottom of this fraction. Therefore, I'll have 1 over tangent of beta plus tangent squared of beta over tangent of beta. Therefore, now I can simply combine my like term to say 1 plus tangent squared of beta, sorry, there's the bell, divided by tangent of beta. Now, now I can go back in here and say, all right, how can I simplify this further? Well. Let's look at our trig identities. If we know our trig identities, the Pythagorean identity states that 1 plus tangent squared of beta is going to equal to secant squared of beta. Well, that's very important because now I can rewrite this as secant squared of beta over tangent of beta, which is equal to the right side of my equation, which is secant squared of beta divided by tangent of beta. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you verify trigonometric identities. Thanks.